Hey, how's it going? Eagle Eye 1975 introduced me to the concept of the Overton window. And the Overton window is basically a representation of the things that society currently finds acceptable. And they kind of have it on, they, they, they'll often judge it on a scale. You got, you, got, you got this window, you've got the center point of the window, and the center point of the window is what society accepts the most. And if you head more, too far towards one direction or the other, you know, those things are considered unacceptable by society, right? And different groups and different situations, it could be political groups, it could be technology, it could be a number of things, push the, this Overton window in, you know, one direction or another, you know. And then, you know, it pushes it just a little bit, society adjusts, and then there's the opportunity to push it again, and a society adjusts, and push it again, and society adjusts, right? And, you know, uh, the extreme side of uh, the progressive left, the extreme side of the progressive left will not be satisfied until uh, we are more towards the uh, all the way to the left and the halfway point between uh, let's say the three quarters point to to the top of the political compass, right? And the right won't be satisfied until basically the same thing uh, on the right. All the way to the right and, you know, three quarters of the way to the top of the uh, political compass, right? Um, but... On a platform like YouTube, uh, there is there is another type of Overton window. It, it's it's kind of separate from uh, the general consensus outside of uh, social media circles. You find it on other social media circles as well, but as it's, it's, it's very strong on YouTube. Um, and the the side that I'm going to be talking about is the uh, what some parts of the atheist skeptic community on YouTube, the Overton window of the some of the atheist skeptic community on YouTube. There are a lot of things that get discussed by the more extreme uh, atheists on this platform that if people would have seen this seven years ago, they would have been like, um, what are you doing, atheists? You're, are you trying, are you, what are you trying to do to the reputation of atheists? They'd be like, um, this isn't how we prove that we have morals, too. Um, that's not what you do to prove that. You know, a lot of the stuff that people would have found outrageous. But... It's the Overton window. It continually gets moved, continually gets moved, and now we're at this point that we're at. And, you know, one of the things is obviously the stuff I talk about ad nauseum, like the, you know, bullying for money. Making a living off of bullying people. Okay, fine. You know. But one of the other areas that has been kind of building up is... Anyone remember uh, Marmite Man 4? And a number of other people like him, white nationalists that would repeat Bob Whitaker's mantra, that whole uh, Africa for Africans, Asia for Asians, and white countries for everyone. Uh, Anti-racism is a code word for anti-white, right? That that sort of bullshit message. You know, it, it got pretty much shoved off of YouTube. People's channels were terminated for pushing forth that shit. And then, you know, you didn't see it for a while, but then you saw a number of other people just slowly moving that Overton window towards accepting that kind of viewpoint here on this platform. It's not the same, again, the YouTube, uh, what's acceptable on YouTube is generally, a, it's a totally different set of things than what's acceptable generally in person, in real life. But, you know, this Overton window keeps getting shoved forward. And, you know, 
it's... There have been a number of YouTubers more recently, this year, who have been pointing out, um... I think Alex Botton was one. I can't remember the name of one of the other people. They're saying, um, you guys are sounding just like uh, white nationalists. One of them was posting clips from the movie American History X. And the only, the, you know, people would come on, you're posting clips of movies. You can't do that. Wouldn't address anything that, that was being said. Hey, this is the, these conversations that are in this movie sound like a lot of the conversations going on now on YouTube. No, they wouldn't have it. Let's let's just let's just criticize him for uploading clips of movie. You can't do that. And I think the I think they were taken down because people were flagging them. Because how dare you uh, compare what we're talking about to something that's racist, even though it's the same fucking message, right? Um. You know, I like to mention uh, Stormfront. You, know, you want to see some of that same shit? Go to Stormfront, and you'll find some of the same messages. You know, the the the, the only place that this Overton window will will not be acceptable to go is if you start talking about the Jews. Up oh, the Jews, you start mentioning that sort of thing. That's the the area that it just is not going to go. Okay, there are obviously some people that have uh, that that will still go there, but uh, um, that's the one place that uh, it's just not going to go. But everything else, I mean, it sounds just like white nationalists. And there have been people whom I normally had a lot of respect for saying, "Well, what's wrong with white nationalism?" How you know, how many times do we have to learn these lessons? You know? Some people will will wonder how the Nazis, how did they how did people eventually support such terrible treatment of people, such terrible ideas? How did that eventually get support? Well, through that, the shifting of the Overton window. You know, how, how, how do people eventually support something that's terrible? This includes the whole, the whole let's bully for money, right? Um, how do these things become acceptable? Well, the moving of the Overton window. And it's, no matter what sick way that things this Overton window has moved towards, no matter how bad it gets, people can't say anything about it because, well, then you'll be a regressive pussy SJW who hates the First Amendment. Um, and if you continue to try to argue, they'll say, well, look, you know, look at all this, this stuff we've done in the past. You don't have a problem with that. Why do you suddenly have a problem now? And that's the problem with the, the Overton, you know, when the, this Overton window keeps getting moved, you, anyone who wants to promote the extremes of, of where the Overton window has been moving can say, well, look at all these points in the past. You didn't have problems with this. You're just a regressive pussy. And it's frustrating. Same views as UKIP, the EDL, and uh, uh, BNP. Same type of views as that. Now, you know, I'm, I can't talk about Europe because I don't live there, and I've heard completely conflicting accounts of how things actually are in Europe. Completely conflicting accounts of, of what's going on. And I see completely conflicting art, news articles about what's going on. I can't really make comments about what it's like in Europe. I can't. I can try to hypothesize, but... It, there's so much hyperbole from, from every side. I just, I don't know, you know. But I do know about what's going on here in the States. 
and there are people pushing for, oh, you know, uh, uh, you know, white people are are we're being demonized. We're going to be, uh, uh, you know, it's we're, white culture is trying to be wiped out. Um, uh, and there's also, of course, the worries that in in a couple or you know two or three decades, uh, white people will no longer be in the majority in the United States. Um, and that just seems to scare people too. Oh, what happens when white culture goes away? You know, why are you fucking worried about it? What What's the big thing? We're supposed to be, you know, melting pot or multicultural or whatever. And I know those things, those are, uh, melting pot and multicultural are kind of a little different things. But, you know, we're supposed to have a number of different cultures here. Why do you fucking care if, if, if oh no, white culture isn't in the majority anymore? You know, whatever. You know, but people saying, well, you know, we let any more Muslims in and, and they're going to, uh, they're going to multiply much quicker than we are. And then they're going to take over the country and implement Sharia law. Even though, you know, Christians have been in the majority in this country for a long time and they haven't been able to implement uh, most of their uh, uh, religious views into law, even though they'd really like to. But we're not allowing for that. But, you know, somehow we're going to, <laughs> we're just going to let uh, uh, Sharia law just take over somehow. Um... I don't know. It's, it's you know what? You know who says that? You you see that from white nationalists. Most of the time the people that complain about this are white. I said most of the time. So it's just it's it's kind of messed up. And atheists want to claim that they are the they you know oh we 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 can be just as moral and and we we're actually more moral than the religious people. You know, and I'm specifically you know, someone asked me earlier, but well you know and where I live the, the the religious people aren't aren't really bit okay. I'm talking about on this platform here here on YouTube right. Okay, here on YouTube I see the Christians unless we're talking about the conspiracy theory, anti-vaxxer, uh, uh, Illuminati is coming. Unless we're talking about those people, you know, the, I don't know what to call them, the regular Christians generally haven't had any of this shit going on. They're not pushing forth these messages. You know, on this platform, I'd say that the regular Christians have more morals than the atheists do on this platform here on YouTube. And that's sad, because that's definitely not the way it was before. That Overton window, what's gonna be acceptable? It's moved so far in a direction that it's really fucking twisted. And any attempt to criticize it is met with, you're a regressive pussy. Yep, it's regressive to point out <laughs> how similar a mindset is to white nationalists. But it's not regressive to push forth white nationalist values. Oh, that's not regressive at all. Well, well, don't attack the messenger. I'm attacking the message, and the message sucks. Who cares if it's coming mostly from from white nationalists? You know, if the truth, something that's true, is true, no matter who it's coming from. Yeah, there's that's true. But how much of the stuff that's being said is actually truth and how much is if it is hyperbole and how much of it is propaganda? You know, you don't even know anymore. You just know that, you know, you're, you're so used to having to rebel against something. Well, atheists, we have to rebel against something. We must rebel. We have to rebel. And 
then it's to the point where people are rebelling against things that are reasonable. Let's rebel against us changing for the better. <laughs> rebel by pushing forth traditionalism and nationalism. So yeah, many of you, if you want to, uh, you know, you you want your freedom of speech and you want to be able to talk about these issues to such to to some of the degrees that you want to, you know, for, forget about candid, forget about uh, uh, minds.com. Why don't you just go straight to, to Stormfront? They'll love you there. You know, just don't get offended when when uh, people do uh, do happen to mention Jewish people. Mentioned the Jews. They just don't just don't get offended at that, and you'll fit right in. You know, if if you, <laughs> you know, it's it's disturbing. It's disturbing, and it, it's and it is the people that tend to be the most mean on this platform that shove this same th sort of message forth. You know, and as this, the title of this video says, this is for some of the uh, uh, atheist skeptic uh, community here on YouTube. This is not all of it. Um, there are some very reasonable people on this platform, but some of the ones that are the most over the top, you know, some of the... Uh, uh, you know the one person. One of the examples would be the the one who uh, has uh, three letters as his uh, has his name of uh, 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 as a shortened version of his name that uh, starts with an A. Um, there's the uh, someone else who has the the letters uh, L L. Another one might be uh, A eighty seven. Another one might be, uh, I don't know, uh, Glute. It's just, you know, shove, keep shoving forth these messages that are no, it's, it's like white nationalism. But I'm bad, I'm bad for pointing that out. You know, I, uh, well, I, I must be slandering people for pointing that out. Libel and, libel and slander, libel and slander, you know, can't say that. Let's watch that Overton window get so far, you know. In some ways I think, well, maybe we should just let it keep going further until uh, it actually does uh, start saying bad things about Jewish people. Then we can really point and go, uh, yeah, you guys fucked up. You done dare did, 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 did,